Mr. Brescher here. Today we're going to look at comparing fractions with different denominators. So which is more, 5 6 or 3 4 And when will you ever need to use this? Good question, but I have an answer. You have a pie and somebody comes up to you and says, would you rather have 5 6 of this pie or 3 4 of the pie? In order to get the most amount of pi possible, we have to know a little bit about least common denominator. A least common denominator is the least common multiple of two different denominators. So, if I look back here, we have two different denominators. The 6 here, and of course the 4 right here. Now, what I'm going to have to do is follow a series of steps to find the least common multiple of these different denominators. Step number one, find the prime factorization of each denominator. If you forgot how to do prime factorization, you may have to go back and check out that video, but we're going to break the number down into prime numbers that, when multiplied, their product is equal to the composite number of our denominator. So 2 times 3 is the prime factorization of 6, and the prime factorization of 4 is 2 times 2. Now since I have their prime factorization broken down, I need to go to step number 2. Step number 2 says look at each of the prime factorizations and determine where each factor appears most often in the prime factorization. So, I look at the factor 2. There's 1 in the number 6, and there's 2 in the number 4. It appears most often in the 4, so I will circle those two 2's. I'm going to look at the other factor. There is a 3 in the prime factorization of 6, and there are no other 3's. So it appears the most in this one, and I will circle it. Now, time to look at the next step. Step number three. We circled all the factors where it appeared most often. And step number four, we are going to multiply all the circled factors together to find the product. And the product will be our least common multiple. So I take two times two times three. This is 4, and 4 times 3, then, is equal to 12. Let's double check and see if this is, in fact, the least common multiple. And that is correct. Now, we're only partially done with this problem. Next thing we need to do in finding or comparing these two fractions is use the least common multiple as a new common denominator. So I'm going to use that least common multiple of 12 as my new denominator. This will help me make two common denominator equivalent fractions that I can then compare. So, what's the next step on my agenda? Step number two, convert each fraction to an equivalent form of the new least common denominator. I have 6 times what equals 12? Yes, 2. So I must also multiply the top number so that we make an equivalent form of this fraction. And that will give me a numerator of 10. On the bottom, we have 4 times 3 equals 12, so we will also do the same to the numerator to form the new numerator of 9. Now, let's check the next step. Step number 3. Compare the numerators to determine greater than, less than, or equal to. So when I look at 10 twelfths and compare it to 9 twelfths, I can say 10 twelfths is greater than 9 twelfths. And final step, if you're ever using the least common denominator to add or subtract fractions, remember, always simplify your final answer. 
Well, I hope that helped you out in comparing fractions with different denominators.